everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today is my top five obsessions video. I've done one for Chanel, I did one for Dior, I think. <laughs> now I'm doing one for By Terry. Uh, I'll probably do a Tom Ford one. I don't know, maybe a Gucci one. Give me your suggestions. I'm happy to do you know whatever brands you're uh, interested in. So today, like I said, is gonna be By Terry. Um, I'm gonna do my top five products. I am looking at six. So I'm trying to figure out how exactly I'm gonna do that. I'll figure it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first is the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. This is a Radiance Elixir. This comes in various um, shades. Um, and basically what it is, get the cap off, um, it's a brightening, highlighting, bronzing, whatever you want to use it for, cream. Um, now it says cream, but I mean it's actually pretty light. Um, and it's a CC uh, serum. So the way I use this often is I put it kind of um, on like the high points of my face, like a tanner almost, but not like a, like, like a glow. How's that? And I put it underneath. Um, you can put this over, you can put this under, you know, whatever works for you. And this comes in, like I said, there's a number of different shades for this. This one, uh, Sunny Flash. So it's got more of that, like that bronzer kind of look to it. Um, and then I take my foundation. This is the By Terry Terribly Densilist Foundation. I have this in shade five. I have this in shade five and I have this in shade one. Their, their foundation shades are terrible, but the foundation itself is awesome. This is actually one of my founda favorite foundations. I love this foundation. This foundation always looks good on me. Um, it's the foundation that I wear like when I know, like if I want to really look great in person and I know that it's gonna be like a long day um, or if I really feel like I need to feel like supremely confident. This is this is that kind of foundation. Yeah, it always looks great on. It's an anti-wrinkle serum foundation. And I will tell you, if this came in better shades, like if there was like an actual shade range, I would recommend this foundation to every single person and especially every single person over the age of 40. But like I said, the shade range is terrible. Um, I mean, it's awful. There's like, first of all, there's like seven shades. And second of all, they don't make any sense. Like I can wear shade number one or shade number five. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no sense whatsoever, but it looks so good. So good on skin, like just fantastic. Um, but, I, I don't recommend it or talk about it a lot because most people can't wear it because you can't find a shade. Uh, if you happen to be the same shade as I am, then you can wear five or one. Five has more of like a peach tone. It's a little bit deeper. One is freshly fair and it's like a more of a pink. Um, and actually I wear it more in the winter and then I wear this one in the summer because I do have a little bit of a tan, <laughs> not really a tan. Uh, I actually did use the Tan Lux drops to whomever suggested those. I don't remember who it was, I'm so sorry. Brain is gone. Um, those are awesome. And um, I did use it with my moisturizer. I used like two drops. And so I do have a little bit, a little bit of a tan, which is just I'm very excited about. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna be using a new brush today. This is the Chikahoto FO1 brush. I have all of the FO brushes. I did not have the one. So now I have the one brush. Very excited about it. Um, I also have the new, well, it's not new. I also have, which I didn't have before, the KZ05 brush. This is a highlighter brush. So I picked up these two new brushes. Um, 
I don't have all the KZ brushes. I'm still missing the one and the two. They've basically been discontinued, so I have to be on the lookout for them uh, aftermarket, but I'm definitely, like, I definitely want still the KZ and the, the KZ1 and the KZ2. So the next thing is the, um, you'll notice the theme here. These are all a certain type of by Terry, like the foundation is terribly densest, denseless. This is terribly denseless. This is the terribly denseless compact, and this is in fresh tone nude. So now technically, I think this was kind of like a powder foundation. It's very soft, um, and it's it's like a powder. I'm not sure if it was a powder, or if it was a foundation. I, I, I've heard different things. I use it as a powder. And it's a little bit, Fresh Tone Noon is a little bit, like the tiniest bit, uh, deeper than my skin. So what I do is I kind of use it as a very light um, bronzer on top of the uh, brightening CC cream that I used underneath. So I kind of get like a little bit of a contour slash bronze, but it's very, very light. You'll see in a minute. But if I use it like without the um, CC cream, it doesn't really work because it's it's like just a smidge deeper than my uh, my skin tone. But with it, I think it's a really pretty look and it just looks kind of like smooth and blended. Isn't that nice? I love this brush. <laughs> I'm just like, this brush is so soft. Okay. So let me just blend that all in. Mm, nice, okay, love that brush. Uh, the next one is the, again, um, Terribly Denseless Blush. This is in Platonic Blonde. Now these have been discontinued. Um, I think they're still available. I think there's some still available on Saks. There's some still available on, there's a couple of sites. Um, this blush is great. It's beautiful blush. Um, I had another shade. I can't find it. Um, I might have thrown it away. It's possible that it went bad or I cracked it or something. Um, don't really know. So I'm actually going to try to pick up another shade. If you have these blushes and you think of another shade that you think I would like, I think the one I had, the other one had more of a tan. I don't remember, my brain is going. Uh, but anyway, so those two products, I absolutely love that. Uh, Compact and the blush, both beautiful. I'm upset that the blush has been discontinued, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Those are four products, right? So we're moving on to the fifth product. So obviously I'm not gonna do my entire face in uh, by Terry, because I only have one more product to go and I haven't done my lips yet and I haven't done my eyes yet. So I'm cheating a little. I'm taking the By Terry, this is the Rose de Balm. Um, Rose, Rose de Balm? I always forget that. Anyway. But I feel like this is okay to cheat because I use this in every, I use this every day. Every single day I put this on. Uh, Balm de Rose, Balm de Rose. Balm de Rose and then I have, this is the, um, the one with the, the doe foot applicator. I'm gonna buy a lot more of those and have them in all my travel kits. Um, but I always use that, like always, literally, just at all times. So I feel like it's okay that I <laughs> cheated just a tad bit. Okay, so eyes. We are gonna use, and I'm gonna do a very light, simple look today. This is the By Terribly, Terribly Paris. Um, I have this in Paris by Light today. I also have Paris by Night, and I also have the other one that came out, I forgot what the name of it is. Love Paris, love, anyway, I don't remember. But I love their um, By Paris palettes. The By Terry eyeshadows in general are not my favorites. Their palettes are okay, but I don't love them. Their um, eye sticks, their caviar sticks, those are fantastic. Those things go on and they stay on forever. And I was very close to adding, like putting that in my five, um, top five, but I like the palettes a little bit more. I love the, the Black Star. I love the Ombre Black Star, Black Star um, eyeshadows, but I like the palettes a little bit more and I just couldn't use both and then still fit in the blush and the powder and the 
foundation it's hard when you have to fit five anyway so let's just do a really simple eye look this is more for you know an everyday going out the door kind of look i'm using my um katie jane hughes brushes this is the number 13 brush it's a round contour shader brush let's see I've been doing a lot of blue looks lately, like not on purpose necessarily, but a lot of the palettes I've been picking up have had like, you know, brown shades, like warm shades, and then a blue, a pop of blue, or a pop of green or something. So I've been using that. So I particularly picked this one instead of the um, By Night one because it doesn't have any of, <laughs> of those shades in it. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no uh, blue in here. Let's go with like a pinky look. I don't usually do that. So how is everyone? Is everyone enjoying the warmer weather or hopefully you have warmer weather where you are? Here in uh, Massachusetts, we had um, like 90 degree weather and then it was like went down 30 degrees the next day. It was weird. It was 90 and then it was 60. I was like, uh, okay. Um, it's going to get back up to close to 90. For those of you who aren't familiar with um, New England, 90 is, is pretty unusual for May. Um, we can get into the 90s if you're talking like July, August time frame, but for May, that's, that's pretty warm. Um, I know, you know, that you guys who are in like Arizona or Vegas, uh, or even places down south that's not particularly warm, but uh, you know, for Massachusetts, 90 degrees in May, that's, that's hot, <laughs> that's warm. Uh, so yeah, it was a little bit of a surprise, but Wayne Goss, number three, just to buff that in. But like I said, it got not cold, but it you know went down 30 degrees uh, the next day. And we're gonna be fluctuating between 80s and 70s. It's usually 70s is like about right for this time of year. My birthday, I, a bunch of you have uh, reached out to, to say happy birthday, which I really appreciate, thank you very much. My birthday technically is May 31st. So it's literally Memorial Day this year. Um, usually it's not on Memorial Day itself, but this year it is, so when you're cel celebrating your day off, that will be my birthday. I'm gonna take this like light gold shade, just put it up in the brow. Yeah, um, my birthday, you know, being the 31st, I was always like, school ha had always, you know, already let out uh, by the time my birthday came along. So I wasn't really able to like celebrate my birthday, you know, at school. Um, like in college and stuff. So, you know, I always ended up celebrating my birthday a little early before we left um, or before the Memorial Day weekend because, you know, people always went away for the Memorial Day weekend. So yeah, uh, I do tend to, to celebrate it early, but this year I will be going away for my, my birthday. I will be in the middle of a forest basically. So it'll be nice. Uh, good to get away from everything for, I'm taking like a week off to, cel to celebrate my birthday. Uh, but anyway, so there's the pink and the, the golden shade. This is a beautiful palette. If you don't have it, um, it is available. I think Space NK had it. I can't remember. Um, I'm not sure if By Terry still has it on their site, but I'm going to use the light pink on the eyelid. Um, it's just a beautiful palette. The Paris by Night and the Palace, uh, Paris by Day light. They're both beautiful. Uh, I strongly recommend them. And like I said, I don't strongly recommend all the By Terry uh, shadows. I know that's terrible. I like By Terry, I do. I, I like a lot of their products. I mean, I'm using them all today, but um, their shadows eh, usually aren't very pigmented. And, you know, they're kind of like um, a little bit splotchy. You know, they're not 
I don't know, they just, they don't usually go on very smoothly, at least for me. Um, and so I've, you know, had problems with that, but this palette, no, this palette's beautiful. And the Paris by Night and the other Paris one that I've forgotten the name of, but they're stunning. Absolutely perfect. Okay, we're gonna take a Refer 27 brush. This is a contour. It's like a bigger, it's, it's kind of like the Wayne Goss. It's not dirty, by the way. It's just, as I've said a million times, it's, um, it's just not clean. Uh, this is kind of the gray mushroom shade. And I'm just gonna go on this outer corner here and deepen up that look just a little bit. Yeah, I promise you, like this palette, it's just, it's just a beautiful palette. Um, if you like a, a deeper color story, go with the Paris by Night, but you know, either way. I'm just going with the Wayne Goss. And this is for all my pink lovers out there who say, you know, I, in the beginning I did not like pink. And when I say in the beginning, I, you know, when I started my channel, I, I didn't use a lot of pink, but yeah, I'm getting used to it. Going back into that mushroom shade, just gonna line underneath. I am trying out some new liners, um, which I can't tell you about just yet, but I am trying them just to see how they where and so when I actually do have, when I can put the video up, I wanna be ready to give you my thoughts on them. So I'm gonna use that liner, um, you'll see it on me today and I promise I'll talk about them as soon as I can. If I can get products ahead of time um, to try them out, I do try to do that for you. So by the time it goes, like a video goes up, I've been trying it for a while, but I can't always do that because um, most of the time you can't get advanced access to things. All right, one sec. Yeah, I wanna be able to say like, this is how the liner wore, this is how the liner, you know, um, stayed on my face or didn't, did it, you know, bleed, did it have longevity, all those things. And um, if I can get something ahead of when it launches, then I can test it out for a while. And then when it launches, I can let you all know really how good it is. Um, I feel like most of the time we're in a situation where we have to wait until the launch we buy it like the rest of all of you, which is perfectly fine, but um, you, we can't give you advance notice on how good something works before you buy it. Now, of course, that's what PR is for. A lot of companies do send PR out long before a product officially launches so that um, people on YouTube, wherever, can give you an advance look so you can decide whether you wanna buy it or not. I'm not on PR lists yet, guys. I'm a very small channel. Um, so it's, it's harder for me to get like advanced stuff, but every once in a while I do. And like I said, I, I'm trying these out. I've got some liners that I'm trying out, some blushes, some, um, highlighters that are all before they're, um, going to be, uh, released. I'm trying those out for you to see how they work. Um, and, uh, once they actually go live, I will let y'all know. Okay. So mascara, I am actually trying out the Westman, uh, Atelier mascara. Uh, I have a little sample of it. Um, so I'm gonna try that out. We'll put that on. I'll let you know how that works. The brush looks really cool. I mean, again, this is a sample. Um, I did not pick up the new uh, lip suede. I've got questions about that um, because I, the nude one, I, I will pick it up eventually. It'll come to retailers soon. Um, I am not someone who really likes lipsticks in a compact. Uh, I don't like applying lipstick with a brush. Um, it's just not a thing I like. I've done it, uh, I just don't like it. So I, that wasn't something that was on my list of things to get. Um, I will pick it up eventually because nudes are my thing and I do love uh, Westman Atelier, the, the entire line, like I do. I, I love their line, I love their aesthetic. I think their products are excellent. Um, maybe I'll do top five Westman Atelier, if you if you guys want that brand, but um, but yeah, I'm I'm not like I've got some Chanel lipsticks that like older ones that were in a compact. I've got I've got a few brands, 
And I just, I never, ever reach for them. I just don't, I just don't like it. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I put everything else on with a brush, so. Uh, yeah, but I don't. Um, I like lipsticks in a bullet or with a, you know, doe foot applicator. Um, I, I couldn't tell you guys, it's just not my thing. Yeah, I never picked up the um, the one that already exists, the red one. I never picked that up. Um, and, you know, I'm sure it's good. I've heard other people say they love it. I just, uh, I try not to buy things that I know I'm just not going to use. I mean, I'll try things for all of you, but if I really know I'm just not going to use it, I'm like, why should I buy that? Well, this mascara is nice. Um, it's, you know, this Westman, um, Gucci Westman for Westman Atelier is a clean brand. Um, and I think it's a nice mascara. Um, it's a little dry for me. Now, again, this is a sample, so who knows? Maybe it's, you know, not like this in the um, actual mascara, but it just feels a little dry. It doesn't feel like it's very... Um, uh, volumizing or lengthening it just feels just dry on my on my eyelashes I'll try it again um, and again it could be that it's um just because you know it's a sample that's possible so I did pick up one of the uh, squeaky clean lip balms from Westman Atelier in Nunu uh, talking about lip products from Westman Atelier I thought it was appropriate that I use this uh, I haven't picked up any other shades yet I think I will though um, now that uh, now that I'll, I might be going some places where I'm not wearing masks, I, I think I will pick them up. Um, the new new is like a very um, clear, light pink. Um, it, it practically doesn't, you, like you practically don't see it. Um, but it is really pretty. It's a beautiful gloss, balm, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put a little bit of liner on because um, I feel like it looks better with a little bit of liner on today. and. Today is not a tutorial or anything. I'm just uh, doing my top five by Terry products, so I figure it's okay. The shade I just used was the Dior Jungle, one of my favorite new lip liners. Absolutely love it. It works really well on me. So I think my skin looks really great. This is what I love about by Terry. I feel like when I use the brightening CC serum, the foundation, and the powder, and the blush. I think my skin just looks seamless every time. I'm always like, wow, I should just use this combination. Like, I really like it. I think this smells like cupcake. Not that that's bad. <laughs> I like cupcake. So just to round up, today I am my five, my five obsessions. Uh, first, the By Terry Brightening CC Serum in Sunny Flash, the Terribly Dead Soilous Foundation. This is uh, shade five. The name is Medium Peach. I can wear Medium Peach uh, or number one, which is Freshly Fair, but the Medium Peach looks more like healthy on me, and I tend to wear it more in the summertime when I feel like I have a little bit more of a tan, or maybe I'm doing fake tanning, or maybe I just want to look a little bit more bronze. That's when I tend to use it but I can also use it in the winter just to like warm up my skin a little bit. Um, I have the By Terry uh, Denseless Compact in Fresh Tone Nude. Again, I use this sort of as a, a powder slash bronzy, it's kind of, like I said, it's just a tad bit deeper than my skin. So it doesn't really bronze anything, but it just sort of contours my face. Like it's a very subtle one and I really like it. Plus this particular powder, it's this amazing powder um, it smooths everything out. It really does. It looks beautiful on the skin. Uh, then this is the blush. Uh, I've talked about this a couple of times. This is Platonic Blonde. Um, this is going away if it hasn't already. So if you find it in other shades, I don't think Platonic Blonde is easy to find anymore. But uh, anyway. Um, and then the By Terry Terribly uh, Paris. This is Paris by Light. And I did a, a pink eye look today. I have on the Westman Atelier uh, mascara, which I'm trying, and then the Westman Atelier um, squeaky, 
clean liquid lip balm in new new which i think is just a great shade it works with pretty much anything um you can wear it completely by itself when i do wear it completely by myself it looks basically just like my lips are plump uh and with a you know a little bit of lip liner uh it's got a gorgeous shade to it the liners uh i'll talk to you about as soon as i can i promise and there'll be more like that coming soon i think that's it today guys let me know your thoughts i'd love to hear what other you know top five obsessions top five products from brands you'd be interested in um there's so many out there so let me know what you want me to add to the list. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.